Um, this is something that I started working on. I'm Jess Holgrave, by the way. I started working on this in 2016, and there were about six logos of things on this page. Um, and I, this is the latest iteration where I've actually removed a lot of the, the real art stuff. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the things on here and also about some of my, the artists based in London who are working on this, although I could talk all evening, as many of you will probably know having seen me here before, I could talk all evening about other artists um, around the world who are working on blockchain and blockchain related things. Um, so I guess for me, what I'm going to point out from this map are, are two key components and where I'm seeing a lot of activity based um, around the world, but within the art ecosystem at the moment. Um, the first is around this concept of title and provenance and authenticity. Um, provenance, for those of you who don't know, is the, uh, the backstory of an artwork, who's owned it, where it came from, where it's been exhibited, who's, who has sold it. Um, and it's really integral to the value of the artwork and also the value of the artist and, and, and its whole market. Um, and so in terms of the sort of infrastructure of the art world, Today we're reliant on paper-based uh, catalog resumes, we're reliant on paper-based um, documentation, and all of these projects in the top left-hand corner are focused on using blockchain in the same way as we've talked about with sort of rights management, managing supply chains, um, but in the specific context of the art world. Um, and, and I think that's going to be a really core cool area of development, something that we're seeing interest from everybody from the sort of top auction houses, um, the Sotheby's and the Christie's of the world, all the way through to artists who themselves are beginning to think about how they manage their provenance. Is that my timer? No. <laughs> okay, I'll keep going. Um, artists thinking about how they manage their own provenance and, um, and their intellectual property going forward. Um, and then the second area that I'm really interested in is um, this intellectual property piece. Um, one of the things that artists have never been able to do is to monetize their intellectual property in the way that um, music artists have been able to do or should be able to do hypothetically. Um, when you sell a work as, a, as an artist, a piece of work as a visual artist, you never participate again in the value upside. And yet, if you're an artist and you sell that work for the first time and then you become, go and become an accountant, the chances of that work ever increasing in value are very, very small. And so... Um, there are some really awesome projects, particularly um, Dada NYC, who is this project here, Pixios, and, and a couple of others who are really focused on enabling artists to continue to participate in um, the upside of their value creation. Um, next slide. Um, because we're here in London and also amazingly surrounded by these really cool pieces of art by Beza, who is in the room, and, and, and several others, I wanted to just highlight to you a couple of other people who are based here in London who are doing incredible work about art and blockchain and how they relate with one another. Um, Ed Bonielles, who um, is a, an artist based in London, um, has created the Crypto Cert, which is a really cool fund based on Ethereum. You can contribute... Um, about $500 worth of ETH, and in return you actually get one of these works. Um, that work in, enables you to be part of a, a theoretical investment fund which participates in the profits of that artist's studio going forward. Uh, but if you want to redeem it, you have to destroy the artwork. Um, and so a really interesting concept about how we play on the value of art versus the underlying fund sitting underneath it. Um, and Ed has been exhibited all over the world, but um, this and his Vanillias project are two of my favorites. Um, this is a book written by um, a group of people who are related to Furtherfield here in London. Um, and for anybody, if you're arty, if you're not interested in art, you're interested in blockchain, which I'm guessing most of you are, is well worth the read. Um, each chapter has um, a cryptocurrency. You, you get effectively given an app which has cryptocurrency. You can distribute that cryptocurrency across each chapter, and it invests that cryptocurrency based on natural language processing about the contents of that chapter, um, as well as having a sort of whole host of essays, critical thinking pieces, and philosophy about how blockchain is going to impact society by some incredible um, thinkers with, with very, very different views. Um, and finally, I think in honor of Vitalik's presence, um, Terry Cook, who is a base, uh, an artist based here, um, who has created this and, and several other um, really beautiful but very traditional watercolor pieces um, that I think are kind of complete the set of artists who are working here, as well as the sort of pieces that you see around you. Um, and finally, I'll mention Codex, which was a project that I co-founded back in 2017. 
um, Codex was, um, and still is indeed, um, creating provenance for physical artworks. We're partnered with several groups, some of whom are in London um, and some of whom are around the world, to create physical tagging solutions for artworks. Um, and we use Ethereum to basically track the provenance and enable the metadata of that artwork to be stored. Um, and, and there's a whole lot of other work going on around then insurance and how these things can be transacted um, as well. Um, and finally, in light of the, the exciting DAO stuff that's happening in, um, in, in Japan, um, I'll mention that I'm a trustee of a, um, the Foundation for Art and Blockchain. Um, we use the profits um, to fund artists who are actually working with this stuff. Most well known was probably when we sold the Crypto Kitty last year for a lot of money. Um, but we are um, in, in the works. There's a really interesting um, DAO coming up with, which allows artists to, uh, to organize themselves. So um, watch this space for that. Thank you very much.